Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Blue if you're new here and today we are going to be going through my zero waste bag. A little disclaimer, this isn't something that I take around everywhere with me. These are all of the different components that I take away with me depending on what I'm going to be doing that day. So I wouldn't take all of these things at once necessarily. Usually I'll take one or two things from here depending on what I'm doing. So I'll talk through that a little bit as we're going through it. I made one of these videos years and years ago. I think I've actually done a couple in my time on YouTube. I think it would be kind of interesting to show the progression from doing a what's in my bag like general to my first what's in my eco-friendly zero waste bag and then now a few years later to see the progression. So I wanted to share with you it's been a couple years since I've made one of these videos and I hope you enjoy it. I just wanted to jump in here as well and let you know that you can shop all of my zero waste favorites, all of the things I love and use and have tried and tested, I have over on my blog which I'll be linking down below. I have a page dedicated to all of those items that you can shop directly from there, um, so be sure to check that out if you're interested in that. So the first thing is, I'd say this. This is a little tote bag that is like a grocery bag, but I've been using it as my day-to-day -day bag because it's just great, it's big, I can chuck in whatever I want, um, and it's just really comfortable and it's waterproof. And I live in the UK and it's very wet here, so I don't have to worry about it getting wet. It also doubles up as a really nice um, just grocery bag if I'm taking a different bag, and it folds up really tiny and I can just take that with me to do my groceries as well. I also have this bum bag, which I use a lot of the time if I'm not gonna be taking any of the larger things with me, I'll just throw this on, because I really like to be kind of hands-free, carefree, and just kind of rock up like this with a jacket and not have to hold anything. I get quite a lot of like neck and back pain. I think it's, I think that must be a lot of things that like zero wasters go through, is like shoulder pain, just because we carry so many reusable things with us. I don't know. But um, yeah, I like to take this a lot of the time with me. This is a bum bag that's made from recycled plastics found in the ocean. Inside, I have generally a uh, hanky. So this is one that I found recently at a vintage market. Um, I thought it was really pretty. It's like 60s, 70s kind of vibes. And um, yeah, that's just to blow my nose with, wipe my mouth with, uh, wipe my fingers on. It's just a nice bit of fabric to have. Uh, rather than using paper towels and tissues and things like that. So I've always got one of those with me. Bring it home, hand wash it, let it air dry, dries out in like 10 minutes and it's ready to go again. I also have my purse in here which is made from um, leaves and then dyed naturally a blue colour. So that's my wallet. And then I have a change purse as well which was gifted to me years and years ago by my mum. It's like a little handmade cotton um, like upcycled pieces of material um, as a little change purse. So that's what I keep in there and then I just chuck my phone and my keys in there as well and that's all my necessities. And then I'll also use this as a purse inside a larger bag. So for example, if I'm taking a bag like this, I can just put this inside and I can grab it and it's kind of like an internal pouch where I know that all my necessities are so things don't get lost, so that's nice. That's why I always keep those things in there. This is a huge bag that I will take if I'm doing like um, a big shop. Generally, I'll fill this up with um, like glass jars and refillable things and I'll go to my local zero waste shop and fill up all of those things there. It's really nice, really big straps. It's very, very sturdy and thick and um, yeah, great for doing a big shop because I don't drive so I've got to hulk all of my groceries and things back home with me. So this is really nice big bag to bring them home in. I also usually will bring a few smaller bags with me, so I'll be taking this um, little upcycled sari bag with me as just like a smaller thing. This can also fit inside this bag if I want to take like an extra shopping bag with me but I don't want to bring like a handbag for it, I'll take this. Or a little collapsible bag like this which folds out into a larger tote bag, just kind of unravels like that and turns out into a really big bag but then collapses back down again into quite a small tote. These kind of things are really handy, especially um, this kind of material because you can just chuck it in the wash. I know a lot of tote bags have been ruined over the years from getting wet and um, getting stains on them and they get holes in them, whereas these 
are a lot more sturdy so I really appreciate bags like this that are waterproof and can just be thrown in the wash or hand washed and cleaned and then they dry really quickly as well and they fold up a lot smaller. I also have this little envelope here which has some recycled bags in them. This is made from recycled materials again and this is for when I want to do a beach clean or a litter clean in my local area. I can take one of these and just fill it with the trash that I find on my walk and then chuck that into the bin or the recycling. So that's just handy to have there because I live so close to the beach. It's really nice. Sometimes I'll be going on a walk and I'll just see so much litter and I'll do an impromptu beach clean or I'll be going to an actual beach clean and I can take these with me and fill them up there. And then I have this little bento bag which is so sweet and actually really handy. I've got so much use out of this. I'll often keep um, multiple items in here. So in here currently I've got my um, cutlery thing and you'll notice that I have quite a few because I'm that person who brings extras in case somebody else doesn't have it. So currently I've got two forks in here, two spoons, a knife and a straw and a straw brush which was in here because I think last time I used this I went camping so I needed to bring the cleaning equipment with me. Um, so yeah, that folds up really nicely and that is excellent to take um, if I'm going to be eating at markets or a festival. I'll also use this to carry whatever um, like lunch or snack thing I have with me. So it also fits my um, like tiffin box in here, which is nice. And then I can have this and my cutlery in here and then tie that up in a little knot and I can take that with me. And it's all in one little pouch, so it's like my little lunch box. So this is a great little sandwich box, it's double tiered and inside it also has a little snack box which I can put dips or olives or whatever I want in there and then I've got these two, I could put like sandwiches and then maybe like snacks in here and dips in there, maybe some carrot sticks, um, some grapes, you know, whatever, you know, what, you know how to use a lunch box. This is a great little one, I love that it's double tiered and very compact. I also recently bought this one from a vintage flea market um, for just a couple quid and I thought it was so sweet. So this is a great one for taking snacks. So if you know me at all, you know I love to make little bliss balls. Um, and it has this little tray inside so I can have like carrot sticks and fruit and peppers and whatever in there and then I can have a dip in here or something like olives that I don't want mixing with the rest. Um, so this is what I take with me. Um, if I just wanted to like snack throughout the day, but I didn't want to bring like an entire lunch like a sandwich in the other one So this one would be more for a meal and this would be more for snacks. This is perfect for like long-distance train snacks <laughs> Can you tell I always have food on me? I'm that person who always has some kind of snack at least on me all of the time Which brings me to this my last pouch which I got very recently actually, but it's a little um plant-based leather um, snack thing that you can put like seeds and nuts and smaller snacks in for general day-to-day -day, I guess if I'm not going on a long distance train journey snack I could just take this with me um, wherever I go or just in case I can put blissfuls in here as well or flapjacks whatever I want basically in this tiny snack so I've got for different scenarios I've got my lunch my larger snacks my smaller snacks my food situation is sorted, which I'm happy about. And then obviously I've got my water bottle here, which I take absolutely everywhere with me. I usually will have this in my coat pocket. So for example, if I'm wearing my bum, my bum bag around here, obviously this won't fit in here. I'll put this in my jacket pocket and carry it like that, or it has a handle, I can just carry it like this and um, ready to go. Water is really important, hydration is really important. This goes everywhere with me, around my house and outside. Um, there's not much more to say about that. So next I have this tin which I bought in Berkeley in a supermarket when I was there last year. Um, I love it because it's got a ram on it and I'm an Aries, I was born in April so I love the ram and it's blue which is my name. Um, so I had to get it basically, <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, yeah I thought it was a really great tin. The mints were organic and minimal ingredients so they were okay as well and I just thought it came in such a sweet packaging and then I wanted to, I mainly bought it, I don't really eat mints, I mainly bought it for the tin and um, this is great for holding 
um, little like smaller bits in like a lighter or business cards so I love this tin I use this for all sorts of different things and then I have um, my lip balm here which came in this little thing as a lip balm as you can see it's empty now but I'm gonna be refilling it by making my own lip balm and I again I just really like the packaging it like locks shut I don't know if you can hear that. Um, so it's great for throwing in the handbag. The lid's not going to fall off or anything. It's not going to slide open. And it's just really small and sweet and refillable. I can just make my own. And then lastly, I have a notebook. So this little notebook here and a pencil case, which I have pens and pencils, ruler, washi tape, lots of things in it. And this goes around with me. Um, to take notes in, to do little doodles and drawing in. I like to use it as a sketchbook. Um, I can also tear pages out with it and it's just really handy to have pen and paper. Some things are better to like keep digitally and for me some things are better to write out. I don't know if that's just like a purely dyslexic thing but there we go. I actually almost forgot I had to go and run and get this but of course I have a keep cup that I take everywhere with me. I forgot this I think because it's winter so I've been grabbing this less and less because when I want to get a hot drink I tend to just sit in and use a ceramic cup at the cafe that I'm in um, but in summer I use this a lot more to take hot drinks out with me on walks when it's a nice day it's just been so miserable weather wise here in the UK recently that I've been taking it less with me but I definitely get more use of this in the summer months so that's also something that I have in my kit I can't believe I almost forgot it it's like such a basic zero waste thing to have so that's what's inside my zero waste bag slash bag slash different things for different occasions. That's my zero waste kit that I will pick and choose from depending on what my day looks like, whether I'm going out for a short walk or whether I'm going to be um, taking my equipment and working outdoors or whether I'm going on a holiday or a weekend away. These are the things I go towards and I'll pick and choose from depending on that day's needs. I hope this was entertaining or helpful in some way and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here and I will see you in the next video. Bye!